Welcome to this short demonstration of the new noise and vibration analysis capabilities in ANSYS MotorCut. I am using a typical traction motor example, which is an 8 pole and 48 slot permanent magnet motor. We are in the mechanical environment of ANSYS MotorCut and I now open the ENVH tab. The model analysis shows the natural frequencies of the stator together with the mass and the stiffness of each mode. The force analysis allows us to investigate the radial force excitations in the motor. The excitations consist of the time harmonics due to the rotation of the rotor and the space harmonics due to the force distribution on the stator. We can combine these harmonics in a 2D frequency domain plot shown here. A Campbell diagram shows the frequency and magnitude of the force excitation harmonics across the speed range of the motor. The vertical lines are also included showing the natural frequencies. Where the diagonal force harmonics cross the vertical natural frequencies, we can expect peaks in the noise. The structural analysis calculates the force response of the stator to the excitations. Here we see a dynamic displacement spectrum showing for a single operating point uh, the magnitude uh, of the dynamic displacement for each space order and frequency. The dynamic velocity is calculated from the dynamic displacement and is used to calculate the acoustic response in the final tab. Here we see uh, the radiated power spectrum, which shows the radiated power in decibel uh, for each space order and frequency for a single operating point. The spectrogram shows the sound frequency and magnitude of the radiated power across the motor speed range. Again, the vertical lines here represent the natural frequencies of the motor. We can clearly see peaks in the response where the diagonal force harmonics cross the natural frequencies. In this case, harmonic order 12 at 8400 RPM and harmonic order 14 at 9600 RPM. The order tracking shows the radiated power against the operating speed for each harmonic order. We can cut diagonally along the harmonic orders in the spectrogram to generate this plot. We can clearly see the main peaks due to the 12th harmonic at 8400 RPM and the 14th harmonic at 9600 RPM. What I've shown is the noise and vibration analysis for electric motor concept design. The key benefits of the new tools are it allows us to quickly compare the noise for different motor concepts. It allows us to easily identify the cause of any motor noise early on and it provides the tools uh, to enable a motor designer to make changes to reduce the noise. The whole analysis shown took less than three minutes to complete and that really gives us a fast tool to avoid any noise issues early on rather than solving them after they occur.